What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 10 most unexpected moves from WWE superstars. Now, sometimes uh, wrestlers end up pulling out moves that you don't see coming, moves that they're not used to, well, you're not used to seeing in their repertoire. And it's actually kind of refreshing. It adds a little bit of, uh, you know, dynamics, a little bit of freshness to a particular match. Because we all know, you know, our favorite wrestlers have. A set of moves that they do that usually gets the crowd hyped so you expect that but it's always cool to see when a wrestler pull out something they normally don't do and you know they show their athleticism but depending on their size or you know they're doing things that you didn't see them or wouldn't think they would be able to do so we're gonna check out some of the moments appreciate all the love support y'all shown on the channel let's get right into this bad boy man from wwe wrestlers number 11 canadian destroyer by bad bunny this was a good one too. Had negative views really on good one. Celebrities entering pro wrestling companies such as WWE. A strong portion of the celebrities that enter the wrestling space are either after a cheap and easy payday, or they have something to promote. But Bad Bunny was a name that broke this trend. As yes, when Bunny he appeared did. in WWE in 2021, he presented a genuine love and respect for the art of wrestling. Bunny made his in-ring debut at WrestleMania 37, and his match was one of the strongest matches of the entire it weekend. Definitely was, bro. Bunny wrestled like he had been training for years and didn't shy away from taking huge bumps, and even delivered an exquisite Canadian destroyer on the outside of the ring to John Morrison. Bunny's performance received widespread praise, yeah. and whenever Bunny is announced to appear in any capacity for WWE, the reaction is overwhelmingly positive. Number 10, it and you can tell he trains. You can tell he takes it seriously. Anytime Bad Bunny has had a match, it was actually really, really good. Surprisingly good. And you can say he was really one of the first celebrities to get into the wrestling space. That was not, he was not a trained professional. He's never really wrestled, but he has respect for the business. You can tell he put in the work, you know, to learn these moves and, and, and make them look good. So... Kudos to Bad Bunny. He's always welcome in WWE. Looking forward to seeing him maybe one day reunite with Damian Priest one time for the one time. I would love to see him in the match again because he's actually pretty good. He's very entertaining and, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to see that. So, no, nah, shout out to Bad Bunny, man, for, you know, killing it out there. Chain wrestling by Braun Strowman and The Big Show. When it was announced in 2017 that Braun Strowman and The Big Show were going to wrestle on Raw, fans were concerned about the quality of the match. Whilst both Strowman and Big Show were talented, it was worried that the two would have a total stinker on WWE's flagship show. Thankfully, everyone who doubted the two were proven wrong. The two had instant and natural chemistry in the ring. That's the fans crazy. came alive when the two started their match in February 2017 by chain wrestling. Yeah, yeah. chain wrestling. Two yeah. larger than life wrestlers <laughs> exchanging holds and delivering them as well as any technical wrestler in the company was a sight to behold. The two would engage in numerous matches in 2017 and their matches seemed to get better and better. It goes to show that sometimes two wrestlers may be like an odd fit on paper, however when those wrestlers get in the ring everything clicks and magic ensues. Mm -hmm. Number nine, Moonsault. Nah, that, that's actually pretty impressive to see that. You know, it's it's not easy for a, a larger guy to be able to chain wrestle and move so nimbly. So it's it, it that's a dope. I don't remember seeing the match, but just seeing some of those clips, that actually pre looks pretty uh pretty impressive. By Road Dog. <laughs> Throughout his career, Road Dog was considered a good talent inside the ropes. However, he was known for never taking risks when it came to his move set. This was never necessarily a bad thing, as if a move set is safe and hey, it's popular yo. with the audience, then there's no logical. reason reason to change things up. However, in late 1999, on a completely random episode of SmackDown, Road Dogg decided that this was the evening that he was going to turn into Rey Mysterio. Road <laughs> Dogg would team with his New Age Outlaws tag partner Billy Gunn to take on the Hardy Boys in a steel cage match, and in the match, out of nowhere, Road Dogg would ascend to the top rope and flip over and deliver a picture-perfect moonsault. Yeah. This would be the only time in which Road Dogg would go high-risk in this manner, and it's possible that Road Dogg believed that the match was the right time to try something new and unique. No hey, and... and that's always a good thing too when you actually start incorporating moves you normally don't if for special situations it makes that match that more memorable so great hurricane runner john cena a john cena and cm punk always had incredible chemistry in the ring mm -hmm. yet the match on raw in 2013 just hit differently the two engaged in a yeah. classic and the match wasn't just one of the best matches in raw history it was arguably strong enough to main event that year's wrestlemania bro they man they don't miss that's why we got i hope please please wrestling gods above i hope we get one more time 
John Cena, CM Punk for Cena's last year, you know, in WWE for 2025, bro. Please give us one more, bro. They don't miss. Give us one more, bro. The match featured several moves that wouldn't normally be in both men's yeah. repertoire. For instance, Punk would deliver a pile driver in the match on Cena, and this came as a huge surprise. Uh -huh. The pile driver was a move that was banned in WWE several years prior. It was an audible gasp when Punk delivered the pile driver, as the fans in attendance knew they had seen a prohibited move. Also in the match, Cena, who is prone to using the same few moves in every match, decided to deliver a Hurricane Rana. Mm -hmm. It's just like the pile driver stunned fans, and it highlighted just how <laughs> it comfortable didn't look that Cena good, was but... wrestling CM Punk. <laughs> it could have looked better. <laughs> suicide dive, John Cena. Speaking of matches between John Cena and CM Punk, their match at 2012's Night of Champions pay-per-view is often forgotten about, yet it once again featured Cena delivering a completely unexpected move. In the underrated gem of a match, Cena proceeded to deliver a dive to the yeah, outside. Yeah, he really does that. It's possible that Michael Cole and JBL on commentary had no idea that the spot was planned, as both sounded totally bewildered. From watching the spot back, it's clear that Punk protects Cena as much yeah, as possible, and Punk good. likely put Cena's mind at ease heading into the match. The dive to the outside can be an extremely dangerous move. Hell the yeah. wrestlers over the years have been seriously injured delivering the move, Ooh. so to witness WWE's franchise guy executing his own version was an unbelievable visual. Number 6. Hurricane Runner by Kane Kane is often been labeled as one of the most reliable wrestlers of the past three decades. Mm -hmm. Although Kane's offense was often seen as crisp and more importantly safe, it was a match with Albert in 2001 where Kane decided to expand his moveset for one night only. As Albert had Kane in a powerbomb position, Kane countered the move and unbelievably performed a Hurricane Rana. The crowd erupted for the spot and rightly yeah. so, as it was truly awesome to see a man of Kane's size deliver such an exciting move. The interesting thing about the match was that it was for Kane's Intercontinental title, and Kane ended up dropping the title to Alba in a shocking upset. It's entirely possible, knowing what we know about Kane's character, that he wanted to make the match stand out for all the right reasons. Number five, of course. Tiger Suplex. And it's, it's crazy, we just checked out a video, um, I'm probably posted before this one, obviously, um, of Kane, some of his best moments, and, you know, it's just dope that he's on this list as well. Kane, he deserves, uh, he deserves his flowers, man by Triple H. The opening contest of WrestleMania 30 saw Triple H and Daniel Bryan collide Great in a first-time match. ever matchup. Great the matchup match. was outstanding. It was arguably Fantastic, one of the finest bro. matches of both men's respective careers. So good, but bro. Due to the game being semi-retired in WWE, fans were used to seeing him wrestle names such as The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. So to see Triple H wrestle someone as technically gifted as Bryan Such was a, a welcome change of pace. Great match. It was evident that Triple H loved working with Bryan as Triple H was putting his working boots on for the match. Mm -hmm. and the more technical and ring savvy version of the game came to the surface. Yeah. The former WWE champion even delivered a tiger suplex on Bryan in the match. And this is a move that Triple H would never use against any <laughs> other opponent. Number four, the. Hey, bro, that was such. That's probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest opening matches to a WrestleMania ever. That match was hot. It was electric. It was fantastic. Triple H came to work that day. <laughs> he, he worked that day. The Burning Hammer by Brian Kendrick. The Burning Hammer is a move that has been outright banned in WWE for a number of years. However, during the Cruiserweight Classic, Brian Kendrick delivered the Ooh. move to the total disbelief of the fans. Jeez. It's possible that Vince McMahon wasn't directly overseeing the tournament, and that's possibly why the move was allowed oh. to be used. Interestingly, AJ Styles used a version of the move on Riddle in 2021, yet AJ's version was heavily modified to avoid Riddle landing on his head, yeah. so McMahon likely approved AJ using the move with the condition of the modification. Number 3, The Jumping Jeez. Tombstone, The Undertaker for the most part, The Undertaker used a slightly different moveset for each incarnation of his celebrated persona. It's always been a huge deal whenever The Undertaker would deliver a move that wasn't typically in his wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. Take for instance at SummerSlam in 2008, ooh, ooh, The Undertaker ooh, delivered his own version of the yep. spear to his arch rival Edge this. inside the Hell in a Cell. Fun, Fast forward to WrestleMania fun, great 26, Hell in a Cell and The Undertaker match. offered a modification to his iconic Tombstone pile driver as he defeated and retired the legendary Shawn Michaels by delivering a jumping Tombstone pile driver. This version of the tombstone looked insane. Mm -hmm. It was extremely rare as the WWE veteran only delivered the move once in a blue moon. It 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 I ma it made sense why he did it because Sean was giving everything he got and a regular tombstone wasn't going to put him away. So he had to jump into it to really put him away. 
so i i appreciate that that aspect of doing the move to finally put somebody down so i appreciate that number two the big show sunset flip a credit to the big show is he often attempts Ooh. to reinvent himself by introducing new moves into his moveset during a 10-man tag match on an episode of smackdown in 2014 the big man successfully performed a sunset flip on eric rowan <laughs> the move came so unexpectedly that even his teammates looked absolutely shocked and to what the big show had just done in the middle of the ring but it's not just sunset flips that the Big Show managed to do during his career. There was a point in time where the Big Show used to perform a kip up in his yeah. matches. Normally you'd find kip ups being done by cruiserweights, but this was a 500 pound man doing yeah. this. And believe it or not, there was a point in time when the Big Show used to ascend to the top rope and perform wow. missile drop kicks. The Big Show would perform this move in WCW Jeez. and he would also perform the move during his early days in WWE, but those high risk moves were fizzled out of his moveset later on in his career. And I'm sure one, that takes a, you know, it was taking a toll on his body considering how tall he is and stuff. I'm willing to bet that it was taking a toll on his body. So he wasn't doing it all the time. Understandably so. And that diving splash by Rikishi. The 2000 fully loaded pay-per-view was one of the most acclaimed events of the Attitude Era. As across the board, every match delivered and the WWE and their talent produced Woo! a pay-per-view that is still discussed over two decades later. One of the standout matches on the show saw Rikishi take on Val Venus in a steel cage match. And this was the infamous match which saw Rikishi mm -hmm. leap from the top of the cage and deliver this. a splash oh onto Venus. Gosh, this was one bro. of the most memorable yet oh terrifying spots of the respective gosh. era. And it's a miracle that neither man was seriously hurt. Oh. Now this move wouldn't have been newsworthy if it was a wrestler prone to high flying antics delivering it. But the fact that Rikishi was a 400 pound man who was delivering a splash from the top of the cage oh. was truly incredible to witness. Oh, bro. They just giving that move to someone from that height, it's automatically dangerous. But receiving that move, the person laying there and waiting to take take the, the bump, ah, oh, whoo, incredibly dangerous for them. So, but hey, man, this was a great list. Comment down below. Let me know some other, I guess, wrestlers you've seen, whether it's in WWE, AEW, you know, TNA wcw back in the day whatever whatever wrestling promotion or company where you was like you was very surprised they pulled that move off considering who they were and their size or you know the type of style of wrestler they are you know let me know if they weren't listening in this video but i appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace